Go ahead. Say something. Say make me a match. Bet you'd talk if I stuck a wick in your butt. Can you say make me a candle? Okay, thanks for calling. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Another personal call? No. Phone bills can be checked. Whatever. I know it's traditional for labor to be at odds with management, but it really would be in your own best interest to lose the toad. I don't have toad. You do. You have toad. And while you may think I have no interest in your success here, I do. I'm the assistant manager. If you suck, it reflects on me. So stop sucking. I can't be here to cover for you indefinitely. Cover for me? I've been very lenient to my reports. Upper management thinks you're doing a much better job than you really are, so, um, FYI. By upper management, you mean Peggy? She thinks you're a model employee. I am a model employee. Most really successful people are on a solid career track by the time they get to be your age. I'm 24. It's never too late. If you buckle down now, show a little initiative, you can make sure there'll always be a place for you here at Wonderfalls. Oh, God. Don't you think it's time you started giving a little back? You have to contribute. Stop picking. And, and in order, order to pull it in, you have to give back. And when I say give back... Give it back to her. Give it back to her. Fine, fine. I'm giving it back. That's not giving, that's taking. Give what back to her? Oh. Give it back to her. I'm working on it. Got it. Where'd you go? <clears throat> Should I put this back? Might as well keep it. You can apply it toward the fine. Give it. We're bobbing along in our barrel. Some of us tip right over the edge. Or something? 1998. Nope, just a quarter. Then you paid 50 bucks for it? Yeah. Does that make me a loser? That just makes you eccentric. Living in a trailer park, however. Uh, some guy named Daryl? He wants to know if you're coming back to work. Delete. At least I own property. Your property's on wheels. A lot of good it's done. I'm still stuck here. Oh, wow. Uh, it's your mom again. Ooh, she is upset. I've died a thousand deaths. She said that. Those words. Safe. Why are you making her check messages for you? It's less stressful if I don't have to hear the voices. And I've decided they're not really my messages anyway. Whose messages are they? Some guy named Eric who came to Niagara Falls for his honeymoon and caught his wife with a bellman. You are that guy. No, I'm not. I've moved on. I stopped wearing the ring. You're still married. Marriage is not the institution it used to be. I am utterly, totally, completely available right now. If, um, someone were to be interested. It's your wife. Well, she even sounds like a slut. Safe. So much for moving on. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Are you mocking me? No, I'm not. Like, you know who that is. No, I don't. Who is she? It's Millie Marcus. That picture she's looking at? That's her. Only because
because she was super famous? Millie Marcus was the first American woman to go over Niagara Falls in a barrel. And live. How does going over Niagara Falls in a barrel make anyone famous? Because it's Niagara Falls? Where is your hometown pride? God, you really are like a hobbit that hates the Shire. Hey, give it back to her. I'm gonna get her autograph. Millie Marcus? Yes? You don't know me, and I'm pretty sure it can't be this simple, but I wanted to give you this. It's yours. Oh. Not the quarter. Right, so not the quarter. Miss Marcus? Hi. I'm a huge fan. My dad's been telling me about you all my life. He's the guy who fishes corpses out of the river. Oh. Could I get your autograph? You have any idea how long it's been since someone asked? Oh. Really? A napkin? Or maybe this. It's okay. She works here. So do you still live in Paris? Yes. Wow. You just did that one little thing and it got you out of here and all the way to France? Well, it wasn't exactly a little thing. It, you know, that stunt nearly killed me. See? She was willing to kill herself to get out of here. But all my really precious memories were made here. And since there was nothing keeping me elsewhere, I... No family or anything? No. In a way, the public's always been my family. Of course, now that family's all grown up and left the nest and forgotten all about old Millie. It's Mahandra. With an H. You know, it's worth more if I don't personalize it. Not to me. <laughs> so you like signing autographs, huh? Millie Marcus, right here. First American woman to go over Niagara Falls in a barrel. And live. Why don't we move the table out on the courtyard? That way more people can see me. They said you'd get a fine. My manager, Hank, used to have people lined up around the block waiting for my autograph. But he's probably dead, so I guess no one's coming. I appreciate that you're showing initiative, but you said she was going to attract customers, not drive them away. We still have customers. Not in the 10-foot radius of that table. Why am I the only one talking to her? I don't want to be the only one talking to her. She's not a pariah. Maybe I should have told more people. Did you tell anyone? Not really. <sighs> this is so sad. This is sadder than that hooker we saw getting beat up by that other hooker. At least the hooker fight would draw a crowd. All right. Why are you doing this? What do you mean? You really expect me to believe you've just spontaneously tapped into the magic that is Niagara? Well, right. So, I'm forced to wonder, am I the target of your cruel buzzkill, or are you just trying to humiliate an old woman? I'm not trying to humiliate anyone. Not intentionally. She said she liked signing autographs. What do you expect me to do? What you usually do. Nothing. I thought you'd like that I was showing an interest. I would, if I believed it. Okay. Well, the truth is... You made Millie seem so cool, I just wanted to be her friend. And it's wrong that nobody knows who she is anymore, and... <clears throat> Did you find everything okay? Yes, thank you. Um, who's that woman over there? Millie Marcus. First American woman to go over Niagara Falls in a barrel. And live. Is it a book signing? Photo signing. That's why the photos. Oh, there's no book. No book. So, Millie could be your co-author, and the book could be a historical tour of Niagara Falls. I've already written a book on Niagara Falls, sweetheart. They sell it at the store where you work. So, are we not going to the movies? Don't be rude. Have some cake. Well, you could write a sequel. There's no market for a sequel. How can you be so sure? Your mother's a well-respected authoress. She'd know. I've read several of your travel guides, Mrs. Tyler. Do call me Karen. And I'd be more than happy to sign anything that you brought with you. Our son wanted to go over Niagara Falls in a barrel himself when he was a child. We discouraged it, of course. Yeah. Well, the book doesn't have to be all about Niagara Falls. It could just be a section. We're not talking about that anymore. There is no book. Thank you. 
Our daughter seems quite taken with you, Millie. Do you always have this effect on young people? I suppose I did back in the day, but I have to admit it's been a long time since anyone took such an active interest. <laughs> she accomplished a thing, okay? Hell, it got her out of here and all the way to Paris, France. And who could use the example of an American hero more than the French? Oh, I'd hardly call myself a hero. <laughs> That's what you are. Your story embodies the pioneering spirit of innovation that thrives in today's modern woman. Jay's sister and I are both very active members of CLAW, Concerned Ladies of America West, uh, East Coast branch. We've been pro 